If you don't change, you will die. If you do change, you are no longer yourself. What all of this is about, it's not really philosophy. It's empirical claims about which set of tools is going to apply. You are in no way tied to the story that was told by your past self. We need to figure out how basically we are linked to other individuals to understand the self. What you're really talking about is ways to relate to that system and gain optimal interaction that enriches both sides. Biology, neuroscience, and philosophy often seem to walk separate paths, but two radical thinkers are challenging our most basal assumptions about consciousness, memory, and the self. Mike Levin, a pioneer in developmental biology, has discovered that intelligence isn't limited to brains, rather it extends all the way down to single cells and even bacterial colonies. Alongside him is cognitive scientist and philosopher Anna Chaunika, who upends the mainstream view of consciousness and selfhood. My name is Kurt Zeimungel, and this was part of my three-day tour at Harvard, Tufts, and MIT, where I recorded five podcasts, including this theolocution with Michael Levin, distinguished professor at Tufts University, and Anna Chaunika, who's currently based at the Center for Philosophy of Science at the University of Lisbon, Portugal, and at the Institute of Cognitive Neuroscience, University College London. The other recordings are with Jacob Barndes, which is over seven hours long on quantum theory, and Manolis Kellis of MIT. There's also Professor William Han, a computer scientist, and that was filmed live at the MIT Media Lab. Subscribe to get notified. Levin and Chaunika's groundbreaking theolocution raises provocative questions that challenge the foundations of neuroscience and philosophy, such as what is the self? Can you be yourself without others? Is your memory yours to control? And what if thoughts have minds of their own? <laughs>